Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do a cable fly, and this one's gonna be a little bit different because we're gonna be bent over on this one. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the cables, each one, bring it into the chest for safety purposes, then grab the other side. We're gonna center ourselves into the center of the rack. We're gonna take one big step forward, making sure that at the top part there, both our feet are side by side, keep our butt high, bring our chest nice and low, a little lower than this. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and straighten the arms, lining them up underneath the chin. Not underneath the body, but underneath the chin. So this way, when we inhale, we bring the hands out to the side, only to parallel right here. Then we're gonna exhale, bring it down at the bottom of the motion, we're gonna bring those palms in and line it up underneath the chin. So we get a full squeeze from the top of the chest all the way to the bottom. So this is underneath the body. We wanna bring the hands more up, right there. So we're gonna inhale out, exhale down, making sure that the finish of the motion, the palms are underneath our chin, right there. See how you bring the palms in right there? Now we can get a full squeeze on the center part of the chest. So inhale up, exhale down, finishing underneath the chest. Now on our last one, this is a, that was our last rep, we're gonna bring the hands back up to the shoulders, then we're gonna stand up, then we're gonna twist to one side and rack the weight, and we'll do the same for the other side. Now, doing it at this angle right here, we'll be able to contract from the top of the chest to the bottom, versus if we just line up underneath the chest, we're gonna hit more of that beefy portion here. Lining up under the chin, we'll get a full range, top to bottom.